Austin's just recently joined the Team Torquedo and uh, also uh, fishing on Logo boats. And as you can see, he's a real master at pitching these lures sideways, underhand, any way you want to do it. He can lay them right underneath the trees in front of the pontoons, right in front of the docks, uh, whatever the situation calls for. He's the man that can do it. How many years have you been uh, fishing now, Austin? Uh, all my life, I think. There goes another beautiful cast there that he made. And as you see, he's sometimes it's single-handed, sometimes it's double-handed, sometimes it's a combination of holding the rod and the line in a different hand and giving it an underhand or sideway pitch. This a little I fished with Austin quite a bit and he's such a good fisherman that uh, he can lay that in there within a couple of feet of the shoreline usually and he's probably caught more bass than uh, than any other five or six people that I've ever taken out where he's actually been out on the lake and uh, you know been casting right there for the shore to to get these bass. Today we're using a Logo Boats uh, pontoon. It's an 18 footer and it's one of the deluxe cruise models. As you see it's got cruise seats in it rather than fishing seats but it still works really good for fishing. We're running a Torquedo motor. The Torquedo 6 horsepower has a speed control on it that allows you to get right down there and go real slow so you can work the shore as you see how we're moving along and did you see that cast how he dropped it right in there this man is just absolutely phenomenal like I said I just couldn't wait to take and get him on the uh, camera here so that we could share his experiences and his knowledge about fishing with uh, everyone because if there's anybody that knows it, uh, he surely does. And for his age, he's an exceptional sportsman. And uh, he's just one heck of a, of a fisherman. Okay, watch, look at this cast now right there. I didn't catch it just in time, but you'll see when he makes it again. He laid that lure. You can probably see it right out there in the water. Laid that right next to the shore. Those fish are just out there in the water looking at the shore, waiting for a bug or something to blow in. And this time we'll we'll watch this cast right here. There it is. He laid that right in there as you see. Sometimes he starts reeling right away. Sometimes he'll let it set. He doesn't really have a fixed pattern of fishing. Well, Austin, by golly, good to have you on board today. Tell us about the lure of your choice that you're uh, using today. It is a Rapala jointed lure, fluorescent orange color. And using this ugly stick combo, the spinning reel, 12 pound line. Show us a pitch out there. Pitch it laid right in front of that boat out there. Beautiful. That's how it's done folks. When you're an expert here like Austin is, uh, he can just call right where that lure is going to go. Lay it right back there at the back of the boat. Beautiful. Look at that. Right behind the pontoon there, about a foot and a half. I mean, this gentleman is really a professional at the art here, and it is an art. Fishing is an art. As you take and develop it and so forth, uh, it'll, it'll produce more fish. Now, as we come up on these different places, uh, he's fished this lake before, and he's found that the fish have a tendency to take and lay looking wherever there's a bunch of logs or something or posts that have been put up there that are structure. Uh, they also like it wherever there's weeds 
that are next to the shore because that means bugs are going to blow in in that direction and so forth and that means fish. This lake here is known for its bass. Uh, most of them are relatively small. It does not have a good population of live bait and as a result the, uh, oh, the fish that? don't get nearly as big as possible. But there are a lot of them and uh, they're a lot of fun to catch. It's a, a great lake for younger people and families to fish and that's why we're here because uh, we believe in promoting family fishing. I don't know if you can see that lure out there in the water or not, but it is a lure that uh, after you start to retrieve it, it wiggles back and forth and it does have a, a tendency to dive a little bit. And it really does excite the bass. Beautiful cast right behind a pontoon and definitely all pontoons have a couple of bass underneath them. Again, Austin Price. He knows just where these fish are at in the lake. He knows the structure. We've got a lot of boats all along the shoreline, a lot of docks to fish, and it's just a real good place to fish. Another beautiful cast is seen there right behind the boat. And as you see this time, he's bringing it in with a little bit of a slower retrieve, and as a result, the lure has a tendency to stay up on the surface of the water. There we go. We laid another one right next to that pontoon there. Look at that lure action. Isn't that beautiful? There's some fish after this time. After this time. The water clarity here is very good. He says he can see the fish. There he goes. He has a hit. Fish on. No, he lost it. So there he goes. The fish came back again. We got both of them. We got the fish hitting it. The quick release. The fish getting back on. And the fish jumping off. Well, Austin, we can't win them all, but it was sure fun, and that's what it's all about. There we go, fish on. This is a about a 10-inch uh, mussel fish. This is typical at some of these here when you're fishing the shoreline. You can, oh no, we caught an old. Uh, an old bag fish that somebody threw in. Well, we'll clean up the lake. We'll throw that up on the on the back of the boat so we can throw it away. That's one of the things that we do here is that we are always cleaning up the lake, and we'll put that on the back of our boat and take that in and and throw it in the trash when we get back in. You've got to remember to clean up the lake whenever you catch something like that. Now we're back here doing some more serious fishing. Now normally you don't catch a lure like this, a professional fisherman, but, but even the best of them, as you see, can sometimes get their line tangled up a little bit. Beautiful cast right in there to shore again. Okay, we got a fish on here. There we go. Austin's playing him. He's not a real big one, but this is what it's all about. It's catching fish, having a good time. He's rocking the boat. He's always excited. No matter how big the fish is, it's always exciting to catch him. As you can see, we got about a three-quarter pound bass there. Now what happens is after he gets the hook out of the fish's mouth, he's going to show you how we make it into a seven-pounder. And for everybody that's watching, you can do the same thing. Because all you got to do is just, you'll just push that fish right out there toward the camera and look at it grow. There you go. There's the uh, Torquedo motor, six horsepower. And as you see, for such a small package, it sure does put out some waves. You can hear the sound of it. It's got a little slight motor sound. You can hear the gurgling of the water. 
The remote freeze, as you see, is controlled by the uh, bar that goes across, and that's what uh, allows it to turn. As he turns it to the right and the left, he'll now turn it one way, and you see there he turns it, and if he turns it a full 45 degrees, we'll just make a circle there. Yeah, turn it all the way there. This motor will allow you to virtually just make a, uh, a, a tight circle even. It's just really uh, allows for great maneuverability. We're just going to cruise down the lake now and visit some friends.